Hello, Tubies. So I had to turn down the, the volume of my videos. Um, I hope this is loud enough. Uh, yeah. So I hope this video is loud enough and everybody can hear things like that. I try to turn down that. Alright. So, like. Um. <laughs> So I was just sitting here in front of my altar. I'm gonna try to see. All right. So I was sitting here in front of my altar and just thinking. And I was at my computer too. Um, it's kind of confusing because I had to see if why do I have to look over there to see if I'm looking over there. But then my pitch, my last video, of my altar, I just went on a whole rant. So anyways, I'm going to just tell you the story how I got this. We pulled up in the um, driveway, and I was like, Dad, pull back. And he was like, no, you go over and walk over there. And I walked over there, and it was a perfect altar table that I felt. It had enough drawer space, which you might not have been able to see that on the video, on the last video. It has enough drawer space. cabinet space some cabinet space down here oh, it smells so good since I made the uh, cleansing um, yeah this and I see that it has turned yellow all the elder flowers has made it to the bottom The others are still at the top. So, that's your ultra cleansing potion. Um, let me say it again. Anise, uh, mugwort, haru, elderflowers, citronella oil, Florida water, and water. Regular water. So, um, this is my ultra. And I'm going to bring over the camera and show it to you. Alright. So, um, my light. Remember the last time I couldn't move my light? The last video? I thought I'd move it this time. So you see that, that's my altar, this is my sand dollar. I found it so weird that it had five points. One, two, three, four, five. Um, my candle carver, a card, can't candle with this. It's a little, little opener that my friend gave me. Um, yeah, it's a bone handle. And it's really nice. Um, I told you about this right here, the cedar egg. My friend and my friend and where I live, um, gave me this from Korea, and it's actually a cedar egg. So when her friend brought it for her back from Korea, uh, back from Korea, I pretty much got it. So. It's an egg, and I use it for like the evil eye, cause like if you can see that. So I like put it right here, top of my uh, cobra, my for protection. I don't know if you can see him there. That ain't nobody. That's my. <laughs> So, um, let me just give you a quick more glimpse of my Eastern altar, crystal ball, um, feathers, this is air, um, a bell with some rosemary, and it used to be over here, but I took it down from there because it had feathers on it, so 
put it right here. It used to be right here, like with these bills up there. Um, I love bills. Here's another bill. Got some good bills for 25 cents. Um, here's some, uh, I had to look in here and see if I had anything that I would want to show y'all, but I don't, so I shouldn't have that on my office. Um, so this is my Wisdom of Avalon Oracle cards. Uh, give me one second, let me turn on the light. Alright, even though it's that lighting and everything like that. Okay, so these are my Wisdom of Avalon Oracle cards. My chart though. Some oil that I used for the cleansing. That was such an on this is a niece. And I actually got this for six dollars and fifty cents down at the Sacred Grove in Santa Cruz. I need to get some more. <laughs> so here's some fast luck oil that I got. Um I had actually put some extra uh, gold flakes in there to just to add that extra um because it didn't have that it had pyrite uh, powder um this is my uh, eastern altar uh, mix what we what uh we call uh Hemp. <laughs> um, I use this for burning in my incense. It's actually hemp. H e m p. Hemp. Um, and I use this. It smells like uh, marijuana. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much what it smells like. It smells like marijuana. And I use that for cleansing my crystal ball. Cleansing me. It just burn that in natural. Um, I know that some people don't want their house smelling like marijuana. But, uh, I use it for my air cleansing. And just for my altar. This is like one of like my, my things I do before I do a tarot card reading. Um... Yeah. So I like I don't do this. I just burn it on the charcoal disc. And they're just like leaves. Um here's that cobra I'll show you again. Florida water, my working candle, some more feathers. Up there says Wisdom. Wisdom. Here's my staff. So here's the overall head of my altar. Here's my sensor. A clear quartz crystal, a tiger's eye, a lepidite, um, little flakes in a bottle. Bell. I have two. There's one bell. Uh, my pen for writing spells. Special pen. It's not a special pen, it's just a regular pen. But uh, I figured that when I use it, I go actually, I just go out and buy this pen every time it runs out of ink. So uh, they sell them at my school for 75 cents a pen. And I would just go out and buy that. Especially for my spell, my spells, and writing spells. So, um, I hope you stick around because uh, I have a few questions um, for myself. So I'm gonna do a, a tarot reading to see pretty much what I get out of it, and I'll see y'all later. Maybe, me, maybe me, probably, maybe meet again. Bye.
blessed be. Oh my god, that is so weird, I've never seen that, it's like putting two mirrors and like it looks like it's still breaking down, oh my god, that's cool, alright, so I just had an uh, experience, <laughs> alright, so I'll talk to y'all later, blessed be.